Hey everyone, it's Raphael from XX Raphael Productions, and today I'm going to be playing Survive the Natural Disasters, alright? So, I'm sorry this took so long to make, I was quite busy the last few weeks, so, yeah, let's get right back into Roblox, um, this is, I, I believe, part 4, and we're going to be playing maybe about 3 rounds, and let's try our best to survive, alright? So, okay, we got the next map, okay, that is the Modest Headquarters. Yeah, it's the Roblox HQ. I remember in another Roblox video, we actually were um, destroying this building, which I will link in the description below if you guys want to watch that. Made it all the way back, like, I think almost half a year ago now, so... Yeah, I'll leave that down in the description below, and let's see what exactly we need to survive, alright? So, we're gonna wait for the game to tell us what the... Um, natural disaster is going to be, because it gives you random natural disasters as well, so yeah. I will leave a link to this game in the description below, so you guys can try it out, but let's get right to it. Uh, still waiting for it. Should be a couple more seconds, it shouldn't take that long. Okay, meteor shower, okay, so it seems we gotta hide in one of the buildings. I think the basement really is the way to go for this. Obviously, if it's a meteor shower, you don't want to be outside exposed, and you don't want to be too high up the building, alright? So. I'm gonna stay down here, and hopefully the sound is not too loud, um, I might adjust the sound later. Like, I already adjusted the sound at the beginning of the video, but I'm hoping that it's not like, you know, overpowering my voice. But yeah, I, I guess I can check that out later if I edit this video, alright? So yeah, um, ooh, that debris has fallen down. Okay, let's stay underneath over here. So far this place seems intact, this area of the basement. Uh, where should I go, where should I go? Okay, let me go ahead and... Probably step outside as well. You can see the meteor shower just r going rampant, and looks like this building is okay for now. Um, definitely those poor men outside. Yeah, they're they're gonna have to try. It. Actually, let's go outside actually to make this even more fun. All right. Um, hopefully I don't get like killed that quick. Oh, that was pretty fast. All right. So let's go over here. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. They actually ended up a bit closer than I expected. Okay. I see the meteor shower coming. Uh. So far, so good. I, I could be jinxing it. I don't want to be. I don't want to celebrate way too early, obviously. But um, and also don't want to fall off the side of this world, you know. <laughs> All right, that would be pretty embarrassing if I did. Um, ooh, okay, okay. I that was really close. I swear it ended like right next to me. That explosion. Uh, oh, okay. I survived that. All right. So you can see the name Raphael nine eight seven six five four three two. I survived this. All right. So. First round is pretty good, let's go ahead and get into the second round, um, how many players are there, oops, I'm sorry, how many players are there in this server, let's go and scroll. So I'm glad there's quite a lot of people, I think last time there wasn't really too much, so I'm assuming this will be a lot more fun, alright, here's the next map, Heights School. Alright, so, back to first person mode, alright, so, let's see, um, hoping it's something like a sandstorm, that will be, uh, I'll be much easier than the other one, like meteor showers. Or like, there was the one, I think in the previous episode, there was one about the deadly virus, where you had to avoid crowds, so that one would be nice as well. You know, something like the Spanish flu stuff. Hopefully, um, it's something like that, something interesting like that, that kind of scenario. But yeah, like I said before, it's a random, um, natural disaster, so you never know. Um, I did predict either a sandstorm or something else, but hopefully not something more fun than that. Um... Let's see. Now, is it just me, or it feels like it's it's longer than before in regards to, like, the natural disaster? Okay, fire. Keep a distance from the fire. Alright, so I'm assuming it will start in the building. Or somewhere outside. But yeah, what I was saying is that it feels like it takes longer now before it tells you the natural disaster. I know in the previous parts it feels faster than this. Or maybe I'm just misremembering, but yeah. Anyway, it says to avoid a fire. I can't find the fire anywhere. Let me go in. Is it inside? Yeah, I see it. I see it now. That is the, um, it's burning the, um, building inside. So in that case, you definitely need to stay outside here. Or at least somewhere far from the middle. Alright, so, I, I don't know why those people are going back in there. That's a bad idea. Um, <laughs> whatever. I guess, I guess, yeah, the majority of us are outside. Because that's, a, that's the way to go, really. Um, yeah, so... So what I'm trying to say here is that this game is very fun because some of the natural disasters are very unpredictable. Like I said before, it's um, it's very um, it's random. So you obviously, obviously some are easier to survive than others. I actually think the fire is easier than the meteor shower, so I guess that's okay. Um, 
I was kind of hoping for something more spicy, but I guess we'll we'll get that in the third round. Obviously, I'm gonna survive this round because this is pretty easy to survive. So yeah. So yeah, um, in the comments down below, tell me if you guys like this server or if you also have any recommendations for another Roblox game that you want me to play, I will get around to doing that, alright? Yeah, there we go, we survived that, obviously. So, um, since we survived both rounds without a problem, I think we can squeeze in a fourth round if we have enough time, so I think that'll be okay, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and see what our next round is gonna be, okay, um, so... Over there is the destroyed building, and should spawn the next map. There we go, safety second, so it looks like some kind of construction zone. Okay, let's go ahead and, um, yeah, here we go, so, uh, where should we go? So, what I'm trying to do, I think a good strategy is to kind of like stay out, no, not outside, but kind of like stay in a place where you can go inside or outside pretty easily, so that you can kind of adapt to whatever natural disaster, like say it's a meteor shower, you can go inside quick, or if it's something like, like earlier, like a fire, you can easily avoid that. So you want to get in a, yourself into like an advantageous position before the game even tells you the natural disaster. Oh, this dude just drove into me. Oh, stop, leave me alone, man. Come on. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and stay away from him. But again, kind of find a good convenient place. Probably here should be good. I'm thinking it's going to be like a acid rain. Yeah, I knew it. Cause when I saw, when I saw that um thing like, like the cloud, I kind of felt like it'd be some kind of rain-related natural disaster, and I was correct. So now for as far as something regarding acid rain, you want to stay underneath the lowest level possible because it will burn through the higher levels quickly. Like look at that. See how the colors are actually changing right now. That's what you want to avoid. All right. So let's go ahead and stay over here. Yeah, so I definitely think we can squeeze in a third round, no, a fourth round, so we'll get right to that after this round, alright? So, um, yeah, obviously stay away from any area that the um, ceiling is changing color in, so I'm going to, let's see, move over here should be good. Uh, so far, so good. The original color is like this, so you want to avoid where it turns green, or lime, I, I was, that's a better description. Um. Avoid those areas, alright? So far, so good. It's coming to my area now. I can see that thing just changed color. Alright. Alright, so it seems like the darker it gets, that's um, a worse sign. I thought the lighter one would be the worse sign. Apparently not. Still, so far, so good in my case. Um, Alright. Wondering when this part will turn lime. Uh, so far, it hasn't. So, guess I'm gonna survive three rounds in a row. Yes, I did it. Okay, so we survived three rounds in a row without dying. So yeah, let's go ahead and make the fourth round even, um, I'm sorry, let's make the fourth round a great finale, all right? So here we go, the last round of this video. And like I said before, I will leave a link to this game in the description below if you guys want to play it as well. So, um, let's see what the next map is. What does that say? Is that a uh, Manic Mansion? All right. So, last round, let's make it count, let's make the last round count, <laughs> alright. So, just like earlier strategy, we'll stay somewhere here where we can go inside if we need to and stay outside if we have to stay outside, alright? So, we'll just go around, maybe over here should be a good place. Uh, where are these two girls over here? I think they probably have the same strategy as me, or they're probably AFK, yeah, that this girl is going inside now. Alright, whatever, um... Alright, any second now, they should give us the natural disaster. I'm waiting for it. Uh, nothing so far. Come on, come on. Keep distance? Oh, we had this in the second round. Okay, well, I guess it's pretty much a given. I will, I will survive the fourth round without any problems. This is just like one of the easiest ones to survive. Uh, yeah, well, I guess it's a good way to end the video. We didn't actually die in either, like, round, so that's... I, I don't know if, like, in my past three videos, if we, like, had a um, video that where I had a flawless victory. This might be the first one in the series, alright? So, yeah, let's go ahead and stay out here. And obviously, as you can see, that's the fire over there. Uh, same thing over here. So, I, I do take fall damage, so you definitely don't want to fall from a high... um 
a high area, so definitely stay over here. Like, if you want to climb up, I would take that, that route over there just to be safe. Because you want all the um health that you can master as much as possible, alright? So, it looks to me in that area, the that area, like, east is way too much fire, so I'll stay over here. Probably next to this over, this person. Nah, let's go. nah, that's too far away. Let's, let's go over here. Now, let's go and go close up, actually. Let's see how this looks like. So... You can see that, if you see that particle over there, it's definitely avoid that. But like I'm saying though, yeah, that entire structure is pretty much demolished, really. <laughs> pretty fun. Let's go over here. Uh, ooh, okay, no, that place is, that is a burning, debris, that's burning debris over there. Let's go over here to the left and probably watch from the tree. Wait, I can't go. Okay, never mind. So, there we go. We survived all four rounds with no problems. Um... Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, um, and I'll see you in the next Roblox video. Like I said before, if you want um, any other Roblox game, leave it down in the description below, and I'll get around to play. No, get leave it in the comments below, and I'll get around to playing it. All right. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you soon.